All right, here it is. Gray style salon and barber shop. So I just finished up getting <clears throat> haircut. You guys ready to check out the haircut? You guys ready for this? Here we go. One, two, three. What's up guys and good morning from the Philippines. Today is Tuesday. I know it's Tuesday. Just have breakfast with breakfast with Mr. Philo in the Philippines. I'm walking up to the barber shop. He is open today. He's closed Mondays, but he is open today. So uh, that's where we're heading. Heading to the barber shop. Uh, get my morning exercise in. We're gonna do the just a little walk up. Fields Avenue, Perimeter Road. I know it's been done a billion and one times, at least four or five, if not six times a week. Vloggers are walking up Walking Street, Fields Avenue, up this area. It's becoming very popular with uh, newer vloggers. I can't blame them, right? People want to see what's going on. People want to see the people. I don't know what time it is. Uh, 10 o'clock. Beautiful day today. Nice little breeze. The sun's not cooking on me this morning. You know, I have a uh, <clears throat> vitamin road here quick. I've been running into people uh, that are coming here. Yeah, plug it, plug it. Hey, all right. <coughs> that are coming here. Hang on a second here. I hear foot, footsteps behind me. And when I hear footsteps behind me, I, uh, I always stop and let the people pass by. It's just my thing. Um, so yeah, I've been running into subscribers that are just coming here to hang out. United States, uh, the UK, Trying to think who else I ran into. But just a mixed variety of people. Uh, they're not letting prices of air flights slow them down. They're not letting, you know, getting insurance slow them down. They're like, I want to come. I want to come. Oh, no, thank you. I want to come. I want to hang out. I want to have a good time. And they're coming. They're having no problems getting here. They're getting all the required stuff needed. To get here, uh, there's cabbies. <laughs> cabbies, there's cabbies. Hello, Hello how's business? Good? Yeah. Business is good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the uh, yeah, they're not they're not letting things stop them, right? <laughs> cabbies there. They I remember when they opened. That used to be the old Bunny Burger place. Uh, they open up that cabbies there and uh, I don't know maybe different times of the day if I come through there maybe different times of the day they might be busy but you, you don't want to see businesses uh, you don't want to see businesses uh, go under here but it happens No Philo. I know Philo's not here this morning because so I just had breakfast with him. There he is. He's hanging. <laughs> what is the exchange rate is? 51.50 at the Natalia Hotel. That's pretty good. 51. There goes follow right there, baby. <laughs> uh, that's good. 5150. I will take that. Gas is still going up. Just like it is everywhere else around the world. It's something we gotta deal with. Uh, it's, you know, people were leaving comments how much they pay for gas, but 
you know, it's hard on the people here, it's hard on the people everywhere. Motorcycle check. The other thing I was saying, thinking too, was uh, you know you got Holy Week coming up. You know the Philippines is big time Catholic uh, religion here. The Catholic, the Catholic religion here is the most how would you say predominant uh, uh, religion here in the Philippines. I know Ash Wednesday was just last week, and uh, there's the bird guy. He goes all over the place. The bird man. Eta, Eta, Eta. Uh, in the past couple of years, they, they didn't do the, um, you know, they, they had the Holy Week here, and uh, usually what they do is, you know, they do that self what do you call it? Self-flagellation? Is that, is that what I'm saying? Or, or they whip themselves, all right? Uh, they didn't have that the past couple of years now, of course, because of the, uh, the COVID. But I wonder if they're gonna have it this year. I always, I always like going out that week, that holy week there and uh, just filming all the, uh, all the activities of Holy Week here. Uh, one, one year I went up to where they actually put a guy up. I think it was three guys that actually put up on the cross and uh, nailed them to the cross. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully that's going to happen this year. Because I, like I said, I enjoy going out. It's something that you, you know, it's only here that you see. And uh, it's it's very, uh, very interesting. Let's put it that way. Very interesting to see how they you know, do their holy week here. I'm just going to keep on rolling, guys. Thought about shutting it off, but nah. Let you see what's going on. Yes, sir. Good All morning. Right, good morning. Angel's Bakery. And Angel's Bakery up here on the left. Hercules up here on the left. Huh? Yes, I know. Dabra Hotel is open. I know it is. Come on. Take They got the Angel's Bakery here on the left. And it looks like they brought all their seating from outside, inside. Wonder why. Why no, no seating? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Uh, City Hall complained. No seat outside. Who complained? Yeah. Who? City Hall. City Hall complained. Yeah. <laughs> it makes no sense. Uh, anyways, I, guess I, I like if I'm going to Angels, I like sitting outside. Uh, City Hall complained, he said. Whatever, right? Whatever. Just won't get me there, that's all. 
you won't get me there to eat. I will go there. I will buy bagels. I will buy bacon. I will buy all that. But as far as going there and sitting and eating, uh, I won't. Uh, I won't go and sit. I, when I eat breakfast, I like to <coughs> sit outside. ABC Hotel. You only live once. My subscribers here. He lives here. That lives here. And Detroit guys catching himself some shade. That uh, my barber is just up here on the left hand side. Manny's, oh, Manny's his name, uh, right beside the little bakery or the little fruit stand. Nice little fruit stand they have up here on the left. Bring fresh fruit. Uh, I know a lot of people stop at this little uh, fruit stand here and buy fruit on a regular basis but that's where I get my honey I get my honey right up here oh something's burning yeah. uh, you never question you just move around here's a little fruit stand a little fruit stand right here uh, another guy that parks in the walking way but that's okay and here's my barber. So time for uh, I'm going to see my barber. All right, here it is. Gray style salon and barber shop. So I just finished up getting <clears throat> haircut. You guys ready to check out the haircut? You guys ready for this? Here we go. One, two, three. There it is. I got my haircut. I didn't say which hair, right? I didn't say if it was the head on my hair, the head on my face, or the hair on my head, the hair on my face, the hair on my nose, the hair on my ears. I just said I was going to get a haircut, right? I got the hair on my face cut. I got the hair on my nose cut. I got the hair in my ears cut. So yes, I did get a haircut, guys. Oh, not this haircut. I know people are complaining. You need to cut your hair. You need to cut your hair. I'm not cutting my hair, so don't keep asking. When I'm ready to cut my hair, I will cut my hair. I've never had, I never let my hair grow. So guys, guess what? I'm going to let my hair grow. I've said it before, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, <clears throat> boy, I go in there for that shave, and what a great shave it is. <clears throat> Razor shave. Um, trims your ear hairs, nose hairs, lip hairs. You get an arm massage, a hand massage, it cracks your knuckles. You get a face massage, a back massage, a, so a shoulder massage. You can't beat it for, I think it's 80 pesos. I don't even know. The reason I don't know is it might be 80 pesos. And the reason I don't know is because you know what? I give them 
150. So I always hook Manny up, man. He, uh, he's been cutting, well, he used to cut my hair all the time, uh, but he's been cutting and shaving me for over three years, over close, close to five years now. Uh, the guy does a great job. Uh, and, you know, yeah, I could stay home and I could shave, but, you know, I'll come up here, talk to him. And he did tell me, let's, uh, let's do a little walk and talk, shall we? He did tell me he had, he, he had always had a lot of customers, uh, you know, foreign customers coming and uh, getting haircuts here. And, oh, sorry, buddy. And like he told me, he said, you know, I, uh, he goes, uh, a lot of the people went home. You know, they went home beginning of the COVID and uh, they hadn't returned. He said, now they're starting to return. And he did say business is picking up. So that's good for him. Uh, so people, yes, people are starting to return, like I was saying earlier. So anyways, guys, you know what? I'm just going to, uh, let me see something here. Looking down there, I don't see it. I'm just going to wrap this one up. Uh, once again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, take the time to subscribe. If you're the ones that watch the video and don't subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it if you did subscribe. Help me reach that 100,000 by the end of the year. Um, so guys, with that being said, we will talk to you later.